Hello there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to convert your movies to 60 FPS. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up Final Cut, and uh, I'm going to use X-Men Days of Future Past for this. It's uh, only like the first 8 minutes or so. So, I'll just, uh, this is where my last tutorial was, so I'll just delete this. And all you need to do is make sure your project is in um, whatever the correct resolution is and 60 frames per second, that's important. So now I'm gonna just import my X-Men Days of Future Past. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go here and click custom and do 100 point one one yes you have to do that but we'll switch it back don't worry go to video quality and go to frame bending so now what you'll see is if it goes if it's oops, if it goes by correctly you'll be able to see um essentially it'll create like in between frames so that it's not just like duplicating your frames and there's no difference it'll actually be smoother it's similar to the effect created by uh, Smooth Video Project, although not quite as good. But it does, it does work. So there's that. Unfortunately, my computer is having issues playing it back. Like always, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but my computer's not very great. Let's just see here. Yeah, my computer is very sluggish when it comes to this sort of stuff, so. And also in 60 frames, but uh, essentially what you can do now is you can just hit normal 100 and it'll, um, if you don't see it at frame bending, you have to try it again. You have to frame bend again. This sometimes happens, but uh, let's see here. Now you just have to go to custom. That, and that should clear it up. Yeah, now it's still set to frame bending. So that's important, and then you can just um, export your project and uh, whatever resolution you have it in. And if it's obviously if it's for YouTube, uh, you'll need to use Handbrake, which I will show in a video. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.